Hi everyone, Masella here from Learn to Grow. Just a couple things today. It's going to be a short video. I'm just going to show you our pumpkin seedlings, tomato seedlings, and see how they're doing. We're going to get, get the pumpkins and squashes in the ground, finally. So I hope they're going to do okay. I'll show you how they're looking right now. So also I want to show you um, a trellis that my family built me for Mother's Day last weekend for our Scarlet Red Runner beans. So um, it's a really cute trellis and pretty inexpensive. My husband used some cedar fence boards and uh, he just kind of put them together. So I just want to share that with you as well. Uh, but anyway, I hope that you guys are having a wonderful gardening season. And if you have any um, comments or suggestions for me, please leave them um, below. So that way I can learn from you as so well. Thanks again for tuning in guys and for watching our videos. And also if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and uh, click on the subscri subscribe button. Now we are also on Facebook, so you can follow us there as well. Uh, we do have our second channel that we're working on arts and crafts and other DIY projects and some other random stuff that our family does together so anyway that's also in our main page that's another uh, new channel that I'm trying to work on so if you know anyone that's interested in arts and crafts um, some DIY projects and natural health and beauty um, you can check us out there so um, have a wonderful day and we'll see you again soon bye bye so here's the eggplant and this one's also uh, blossoming. It's got the flowers which I'm going to be pinching off because it's still very little. It's only about 8 inches tall and this should be a bigger plant so that way it will promote growth. So I'm just gonna I guess just pinch them off and there's another see this pepper this Anaheim chili pepper it also has some a little blossom and growth as well as this dwarf tomato plant I don't know if that's too much but this um, dwarf tomato plant is supposed to be at least 24 inches tall it's only about 7 inches tall and I kind of got too busy and I spaced out and I missed you know um, that one there it's already a little tomato it's gonna be a cherry tomato so I don't know if I should pinch off those flowers Although I know that if I leave them there, um, some of them will turn uh, into fruit and the branches should get a little thicker, a little thicker to support the fruit that it's holding. So I'm going to pinch off these blossoms, this little growth here, that way it'll promote growth of the plant so that way it will mature to its full potential. And at the end, I should yield um, more peppers. So that way it'll give more energy to the plant itself instead of developing the fruit. So and there's this the toma same tomato again. Um, I've never pinched off flowers from a tomato plant before. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Like I said, this is a dwarf tomato plant, so but it's not. Um, mature yet, but we've had so much sun that uh, a lot of the our plants and flowers started bolting or just so blooming. Here's another and tomato plant. It's called Best Seattle's Best of All Tomato, and it's an heirloom. And I picked this up at Home Depot about oh gosh, I think it was like six weeks ago. It was pretty little. Um, it's still not full grown yet, and it's got you know some flowers already too. I'm just gonna let it be, um, but you know it's gonna keep growing. So it's supposed to be um, the medium-sized tomatoes, and I've never had them before, so we're going to give it a try this year. And I think, I believe this is the Roma tomato. And let me show you my, uh, the seedling tomatoes that I uh, planted. So these are the uh, seedlings that I sowed uh, about two months ago, and I felt like I neglected them. I left them on the deck, and I've just been pretty busy uh, between work and the kids, and I'm trying to get the um, other part of the garden ready, but this one's doing really well. These are all cherry tomatoes, and they're all organic. So I'll have to um, get them in the ground today, so that way they'll keep growing. But um, it looks like um, the big one there is doing really well. So here's the squash seedlings, and they are turning yellow, and they are bolting too. So these are um, within the same group as the uh, baby tomatoes. Um, I don't know why they're turning yellow. Um, it was really hot last week. I hope they make it. I'm gonna get this in the ground right now. 
I should have done it earlier. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna have to pinch off these flowers again here. So that way it'll promote plant growth. So it's got a lot of flowers since we've gotten so much sun that it's putting out these buds. See that? They're kind of all over the place there. So we'll get this in the ground with a healthy soil. Mix in some of the um, compost with the worm castings. Okay, here's the trellis that my family built me for Mother's Day. So it's a pretty simple trellis um, out of uh, cedar fence boards. So it's a pretty simple one here. And it costs around $30 for the parts um, and then some screws and nails. So, but that will uh, be a great place for the uh, scarlet red beans to climb. So, and then, you know, some will probably be hanging from the top there. Remember, these are the the big beans and the long pods. So it'll be really neat to see that this summer. Now, oh, here's the uh, pumpkins and the squash that I got, finally got in the ground. So there's the pumpkins there. It's starting to rain, so I gotta get going. But, and there's the squash, so hopefully they do okay. And good thing that's raining, so that way they don't get shocked and it's not too hot today. So that's it for today, guys.